Maybe you're like me and you think that David, the son of Jesse, is one of the greatest men of the Bible and of all human history. Today we're going to take a look at the last words of King David, and it's going to be from 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 1 through 4. It's the beginning of a psalm that kind of marked the end of his life. 2 Samuel chapter 23, beginning now at verse 1. Now these are the last words of David. Thus says David, the son of Jesse, Thus says the man raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord spoke by me, and his word was on my tongue. The God of Israel said, the rock of Israel spoke to me, he who rules over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be like the light of the morning when the sun rises, a morning without clouds, like the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after the rain. The closing chapters of Second Samuel include a few choice psalms from King David. This last psalm is a beautiful song of wisdom from David at the end of his life. In just a few words, he explained God's benefits. He confessed his sins. He professed his faith. He comforted himself in the covenant, and he announced destruction to unbelievers. There's a whole lot in this relatively little composition. This last psalm of David begins with the preface, These are the last words of David. Now, it isn't that these were the last words David spoke from his deathbed but they do express his heart and longing at the end of his life. And what a life his was. We have a capsule of David's life in the titles and descriptions of 2 Samuel chapter 23, just there in the first verse. David calls himself the son of Jesse. Of course, Jesse was a humble farmer, and this title reminds us of David's humble beginning. He calls himself the man raised up on high. David allowed God to raise him up so that he could confidently rest in this title. He then calls himself the anointed of the God of Jacob. David was anointed by God, not by himself or merely by man. He had a unique empowering and enabling from God. And then finally, there in uh, chapter 23, verse 1, David calls himself the sweet psalmist of Israel. David had a beautiful gift of eloquence and expression before God. And this title reminds us of David's deep inner life with God. In this psalm, David looked back and thought about his reign. He said, he who rules over men must be just. And as David looked back over his life and reign, he was struck by the great need for rulers to exercise justice. He knew by this seeing the goodness of justice provided and then the curse of justice denied. Then David reflected on how a wise ruler is blessed when he rules with justice. He wrote, he shall be like the light of the morning. When David looked back on his reign, he saw lots of blessing and light. Though David's reign was not perfect, it was blessed, and his reign is the one that's most identified with the reign of the Messiah. You know, from one's perspective, David's reign was a disaster. He suffered from a dark scandal during his reign. He suffered under repeated family crises. He suffered under revolt from his own son, and under another civil war, and from three years of famine. Now, in contrast to David, his son Solomon's reign seemed perfect. Solomon enjoyed a reign of peace, great prosperity, prominence, and even glory. Yet, the Bible has nothing but praise for David and his reign. You can see this in passages like Psalm 89, Isaiah 55, Romans chapter 1, Revelation chapter 22. In contrast, Solomon is barely mentioned in the rest of the scriptures. And when he is, it's almost in a backhanded way. 
You can look to Matthew chapter 5 and Matthew chapter 12 for examples of this. The difference between David and Solomon is found in their different relationships with God. David's passion in life was simply to be with God. He showed this heart in Psalm 16, verse 11. He wrote, In your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Or again in Psalm 21, verse 6, For you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. David longed for the presence of God, while Solomon's passion was personal improvement. We can find a reference to that in 1 Kings chapter 3. But we can also say that David endured to the end, loving and serving God in the final chapters of his life, while Solomon forsook God in his later years. The glorious reign David spoke of is ultimately fulfilled in David's greater son, Jesus Christ. If Jesus is our king, and if he reigns in us, then he shall be like the light of the morning in us. Friends, this isn't just for us to read about with David, but it's for us to experience in Jesus. His light can shine in us and through us, full of glory, like the light of the morning. I pray that you can experience some of that light today.